So what's coming in here for you is Two of Swords, King of Swords, Nine of Swords, Hierophant. A lot of you might be dealing with an air sign. I do see, uh, see two air signs already. Uh, one that is an older person that might be associated with a younger person. So there's an element of like family. There's an element of family and there's an element of, in general, you know, like an air sign. An air sign associated with, well, two air signs or one that you are really close to and there is an, a younger air sign associated with them. So that's what I'm sensing here with the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So it could also be somebody that you've known for quite some time. When, um, you know, in the beginning stages of your relationship or your interaction with them, I do feel that they, they were like very young, very naive. They might have also been like, um, I do feel like they, they were very impulsive. They were very, very impulsive because, you know, the Knight of Swords are the fastest moving knights in the entire deck. So they rush into things without, you know, thinking about the consequences or without thinking through or without having a game plan. So they wage war without um, proper equipment and they might have like said things that were very, very hurtful. So for those of you who are in love relationships with an air sign, I do feel it might be a love relationship situation, mainly because we have the three of swords. So for those of you who have been in love relationships with an air sign or who are still going through it, I do feel that this person is somebody you might have known for quite some time. Um, at the beginning stages, they were really unsupportive. They might have like, you know, cut you, you down with their words. They might have been like quite impulsive. And um, what you're starting to see now is that they're starting to come around. They're a lot more emotionally mature and a lot more stable. And they're so so it's it seems like in the recent months they have changed so much so whatever you remembered about this person i do feel that they have grown and matured into a king okay so this can be like a male or female air sign and the air signs are aquarius gemini and libra so i do feel that whatever it was that was the problem between the two of you you've realized how much they have changed and you are kind of like um you're, you're feeling as if you potentially have made a wrong choice by not persevering in that relationship. I'm sensing for a lot of you who might have like broken up with this air sign very recently, you are thinking about this air sign because um, this air sign is crowning your reading. And um, I do feel that, you know, once upon a time you were in a relationship, a loving relationship with an air sign. And at this point in your life, a lot of you might have. Okay, so let me just see here, because I do feel there are three different scenarios. And I'm trying to see what's like the, the strongest messages coming through based on the other cards, because I'm getting here. This was a, a, a quite a serious relationship and it broke up. It fell apart because they weren't emotionally mature enough. Okay. And you dated other people and you realized that you, the other people didn't really, you know, want the same things that you want. That, you know, contrary to the expression, there weren't many fishes in the sea. So it's, you're thinking about this air sign from your past and you're thinking about cycling back into their life is what I'm sensing. And, um, the advice here though, there is warning against this mainly because, I do feel here, we have the Hierophant in the reverse position, which indicates to me that, you know, this situation itself is not going to lead to stability. If you are coming back in, mainly because you feel like life has really dealt a, a blow to your heart, and you haven't been really successful with, you know, your dating situation, I do sense that it is really problematic coming into, you know, back into this person's life because it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to lead to anything stable. It's not going to lead to a merit situation. And at the same time, it's a little bit problematic. Okay, so that's the first scenario. 
The second scenario is that I do feel, for those of you who have not been in a relationship with an air sign, there is an air sign in your midst, and it is somebody that um, you are recently, you know, like you have recently started dating, uh, and you are recently like in a business relationship or in a business type of situation with. So if it is strictly business and they are older than you, and older than you, you know, like by um a few months a few years but like they're visibly mature and they seem like they're emotionally you know physically a little bit more mature than you then i do feel that this business situation can work out very very well i do sense that um this air sign is very very verbose normally in a business situation though i do feel that you have been burned in the past so you're being extra cautious about this situation you're taking more initiative. I, I feel like a lot of you are taking more initiative because the air sign wants somebody who is taking more initiative. So they're taking a step back. So it's sort of like meeting of, of the same minds, okay? You've been burned in the past, so you're trying to approach this business partnership with a lot more, like, you know, um, with a lot more initiative. And then air signs are very, very decisive. They have always been. And instead, they're like, okay, well, this you know cancers you want to take over so they're taking a step back so it's like a, a dance between the two of you and you're able to navigate one another very very well and as a result of it I do feel a lot of momentum a lot of traction is being gained between your partnership or in the process of partnering up with one another you both are arriving at um, you both are making gaining traction in the business environment so there's a lot of um, there's a lot of work that was accomplished in a very, very short time. So this is a fruitful business relationship. I do sense at the heart of it, there is a lot of anxiety here. A lot of you have trust issues and um, a lot of you are cycling through, you know, worst case scenarios once again, because at the heart of the reading, we do have the three of swords, which indicates that, you know, you've been burned in the past and you're not really looking to for that to happen to you again. So you're very very blocked and it is really difficult for you to trust people at this point you have high hopes and expectation for this partnership and um, you are very like almost like enchanted by the, this air sign you know so you're kind of hoping for the best but deep down you are really mired in a lot of anxiety and it's sort of like all your eggs are in one basket and you can't really backtrack at this point in time okay I do feel, if it's a business environment, I do sense that you're going to be okay. And um, I, I believe I mentioned this for Taurus as well, Like, but it's the opposite. So in a business environment, I do feel a lot of you are going to gain traction or a lot of you are going to gain new ground. If you are planning to expand with this air, this air sign, I do feel like... Um, you know, you're building up an empire, you're expanding land, and you are also like expanding your empire. So it's looking very, very fruitful on the business environment. If it is in love, I do sense that it can be very unstable. Um, I do sense that it's sort of like, you know, that devil card being tied to a situation that promises you security. Okay, so if this is a love situation and you're ro running back to this person, and I do feel that you're not going to get the warm reception that you you were hoping for because I do feel this is interesting and um, it's your external environment whoever it is that you're hoping to go back to it's an air sign but it's a very very um, you know like the the color is very red which indicates like passion uh, ambition it also indicates like you know physical energy which is basically a lot of social dating okay so I do feel this is somebody that has that is like turning their back on you that they they're not waiting around for you to come back they've got other options and I do feel that um, a lot of you might be in a situation where you feel that um, I I think I messed up because you know this person meant everything to me and I let a good thing go so I'm going to, you know, go back in and say j exactly just that. And hopefully they'll, they'll be touched and they will take me back. Well, if it's a love situation, it's not looking that great. So, you know, 
it, I would just advise you to do that anyways, mainly because at the end of our lives, I feel like I say this in every video, at the end of our lives, it's the things that we don't do that we usually regret. And um, I've talked to a lot of like elderly people about this situation and they mentioned that it's generally true, you know. It's like um, in the midst of it, we feel like I shouldn't do this because I will make a fool out of myself. And, you know, what if the other person doesn't reciprocate? What if I'm rejected? But when you think about it, it's the things that you don't do that you're going to regret by the end of your lives. And a lot of people have confirmed this. And, you know, it's easier said than done. But I do sense that if you feel a certain way, if you feel that this person, you know, was um, is the right one for you. And... Um, it is really important to tell them because, you know, it's important for them to know. It's important for you to give yourself that opportunity to um, to get a second chance with the person. And sincerity actually, you know, will get you very far. So what is going to happen first, I feel, is, um, you know, in the outcome part. The other person is very, very attractive to the opposite sex at this point, okay? They're like uh, done up. They're very well groomed. In the past, they might have been a little bit sloppy, impulsive, but then since you've been gone, they've really like, um, you know, revamped their style. They're very stylish coming through at this point. They are very well received by the opposite sex. A lot of people are interested in them, okay? A lot of them, a lot of people are interested in them as a wife material. You know, for those of you whose the air sign might be females, for those of you who the air signs might be male, I do feel that they are seeking a lot more stability. They, they are wanting, you know, they, they want a woman who will hold her own. They want an empress, okay? They don't really want, um, you know, pages. They want an empress. They want a very, very established person. So if you are coming back in on the heels of this, okay, on the heels of heartache, you're thinking about coming back to this air sign, or you're starting to realize that this air sign is the one for you. So you are sincere about wanting them back into your life. And I do feel for a lot of you, you wanted to establish your success first. Success is coming through here with the six of wands, which indicates that, you know, at this point you're ready, you want to come back and offer them something concrete. I do feel that, um, they're going to be very, very standoffish, and they want you to follow through. Otherwise, they're not going to budge, okay? So this is a card of lack of information. So if you're coming in declaring your love for the other for them, I do feel they are going to, you know, be like a little bit nonchalant. And then just to see if you're going to go th through with it, they're not going to promise you anything, and they're not going to commit to you. At the same time, I do feel as well, we have the hangman in the reverse position. You have a very, very small um, time frame, like window of time, in which you can re-enter this person's life, okay? So make every second count, make every moment count, and be at your most sincere. Because I do feel that um, they're not wasting time anymore, okay? So for those of you in general who are not at all involved with an air sign, who are just going about your life, you know, without an air sign presence in your life. I do feel that for this month in general, um, a lot of emphasis is going to be on communication and especially truthful communication, okay? So I do feel there is um, a little bit of like a thwarted energy when it comes to your work environment. Somebody is, um, is not communicating effectively. They're kind of leaving you in the dark. And you're kind, instead of asking them, you know, like, what exactly is it that you want me to do? You're kind of like taking, you know, it upon yourself to run with it without knowing exactly what it is that your supervisors might want. And as a result, there is going to be a situation where you are going to have to redo some projects, okay? So for the next two weeks, I do feel that communication is going to be very, very important, okay? Mutual communication, it's always important across the board with all interpersonal relationships. But just to save yourself the trouble, I do sense that um, the environment that you're working in is very, like, non-traditional in some way. The sword energies are very, like, eccentric characters, we also have the Hierophant in the reverse position, and we also have um, <clears throat> we also have the Empress, which indicates to me this is not a 
you know, like a, if you think about a standard institution or a standard in company, it's very male dominated, typically very male dominated. It's very like hierarchical. And it's also very like rigid. There are like memos, there are like, you know, procedural manuals of how to do things. In this environment, it's everything but. So I do feel that it's very um, non traditional. People have a lot of room for creativity. The, um, it's all about exchange of information, it's all about guidance, mentorship, teaching. And there's also the empress, which is not a traditional ruler, if you think about it. So there's like a great emphasis on um, wanting to, you know, enhance knowledge, but also to uplift humanity in some way. And I do sense that this is the environment that you, you find yourself in, and it looks very fruitful. It looks like it's very in alignment with your water sign. So it is a very good environment, and you're going to thrive greatly, okay? Same with dating. I do sense that um, there's there has been a very big shift. You've you've like moved on from very very emotionally draining relationships with fire signs. A lot of you, and you are approaching relationships in the future more on an intellectual level. You want somebody to have a very very strong intellectual excuse me intellectual rapport with you before you will get. Um, before you will invest in them emotionally. So I do feel that it is going to be a very, very good second half of August for you guys in terms of love relationships in general. For those who are dating or for those who are single, I do feel that you're refining your criteria and you do want somebody who will spark intellectual curiosity in you. All right. So have fun dating cancers. Good luck with your job.